Jesus, we thank you this morning once again for your body broken for us. And so we break this bread in remembrance of you because you're so wonderful. And you ask us to remember your body. So we eat this bread this morning. And we, we declare that by your stripes we are healed. So we receive this with thanksgiving and with anticipation of seeing you move in our lives today. How wonderful you really are. And we, we choose to lay down our own opinions and thoughts about... <coughs> Excuse me about different things and we choose to say yes to you Father we say yes to you Jesus and we say yes to healing and wholeness today so eat this bread with thanksgiving children, my grandchildren. And I choose to rejoice in you today, Father. We take this cup. <clears throat> Excuse me, YouTube guys, my I've got a strange voice again today. Thank you, Jesus, for pouring your blood out for us. And making a way where there was no way paying the price that was required for the human race to come back into communion and fellowship with the Godhead. And so we rejoice in your sacrifice this morning. We drink this cup and we choose to rejoice for what you did. And we declare and agree with the Word of God that we are righteous. We have been made righteous by the blood of the Lamb that we have been made whole, that we have been saved and salvation has come to the human race. So we say yes to the Holy Spirit, we say yes to Jesus, we say yes to you, Father, and we say thank you. And we drink this cup in faith, believing in the faithfulness of Jesus. How wonderful is that? Faithfulness of you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord. How lovely you are, Father. That you would allow us to come boldly into the throne of grace today. And I want to thank you again, Lord, for the book <clears throat> that you've given us. Uh, how splendid it is. Thank you, Father. We're in Titus. <clears throat> Chapter 2, verse 9. Exhort servants to be obedient to their own masters and to please them well in all things, not answering again. I guess that's being sassy. <laughs> Not purloin, purloining, but showing all good fidelity, that they may adorn the doctrine of God, our Savior, in all things. <clears throat> For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly righteously and godly in this present age, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a people of his own zealous of good works. 
These things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority. Let no man despise thee. <clears throat> Thank you. <coughs> Great. You just named Dan, you are. Yes, I am well. <laughs> Wow, this is this is a great uh, passage. <clears throat> Let's talk about it. For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men. Wow, that's really cool. Mm -hmm. The God's grace doesn't say, and the works required by God has appeared to all men. No, salvation is not by our works. Salvation is a gift. It's God's grace to us. And it has it's been made available to all men. Now it says it has appeared. So I'm not sure exactly what that refers to. But maybe it means like revealed. Uh, we'd have to look it up. teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, godly. So because God has saved us by grace, we should live righteous, holy. Not the other way around. That the way you become righteous and holy is by living godly. That's not true. You can't become righteous by living godly. You can only become righteous by accepting the righteous payment Jesus made. Most religions teach it backwards. That the only way to heaven, the only way to righteousness, the only way to receive from God is if you behave appropriately mm -hmm. according to their religious code. And they're all different. Mm -hmm. So... So who's, who are you going to listen to? Who's got the right set of rules? <laughs> How do you know? So, Paul says here that the, uh, the grace of God has, that brings salvation has <laughs> appeared, teaching us. So this grace is teaching us that we should live in a godly fashion. Mm -hmm. Soberly, righteous, God, in this present age, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing. There's that word appearing again. Mm -hmm. Of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Here's another one, River. I mean, son. <laughs> here's, here's another <clears throat> single reference where Jesus is referred to as God. So Titus, this is the second one in Titus. Um, Titus chapter 1 verse 3 is the other one. But this one, this one's even better to me because this one says Jesus Christ. The other one just says, God, our Savior. This one says, God and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself. So the way you're purified is not by your works. You're purified by him. You're redeemed from all iniquity by his blood. And he wants us to be zealous of good works. These things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority. So people who disagree with the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, we have, a, we have permission <laughs> and we have authority from God to exhort and rebuke. Let no man despise thee. So we're kind of shallow on this. We're way too nice about all this. And we're wimpy 
for the most part. I know this is not very traditional Christianity at all. No, it isn't. It's not fire and brimstone, but it's not. It's not on the other cheek either. It's not what you hear in church. Figures. So, so anyway, so Father, our desire. We we read this word today. You, this uh, book you gave us instructions here. So, we'd love to experience this today. We'd really like to see the blessed hope and the glorious appearing of our Savior <laughs> today. But I know there's still a lot of people that need to be saved. So I'm not I'm not uh, sh that short-sighted that we'd want, even though it would be fun to go to heaven today. <laughs> um, there's still a lot of people that need Jesus. Mm -hmm. So, so we say yes, Father. We will uh, work with our brother Paul here and we'll deny ungodliness and worldly lusts and speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority mm -hmm. and declare the grace of God has appeared to all men and he has purified us Jesus has purified us that's awesome. Redeemed us. He's redeemed us, verse 14, from all iniquity and purify unto himself a people of his own. <clears throat> so, Father, we thank you for Jesus. Uh, we should probably meditate on this a long time today. That Jesus has redeemed a people for himself and he has purified us by his own blood, by his own sacrifice, by his own uh, death on the cross. And has revealed the grace of God to us. And so I just thank you for that, Father. We, we rejoice in you, Father. We rejoice in you, Jesus. We rejoice in you, Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. This morning we choose God. We choose you. We choose to love you. And, and then we read this great passage, this great comfort, this great uh, amazing truth that here it is 2,000 years later and we're reading about it. You preserved the truth for us. You preserved your word for us. And here we have it. So I thank you for that. I appreciate it. Give, uh, give the Apostle Paul a hug for us. And uh, his buddy Titus, <laughs> give them a great big hug for us, Jesus, and tell them we really appreciate the letter. We really appreciate the encouragement mm -hmm. and the truth that you have declared. And the whole world has been reading this a letter for 2,000 years, and this has been changing men's, men and women's lives. So we, I really appreciate it. Father, I do. And and I want this <coughs> excuse me. I want this these truths to just saturate my being, Father. That I have a I have a uh, a twinkle in my eye <laughs> and I have a smile on my face and I have pep in my step and I encourage my wife and my son and my grandkids and my friends and my neighbors and my enemies and everybody else and we can just come after you Jesus and we say to you Savior lead on Savior we're coming after you we're following after you thank you Jesus thank you Jesus you're so good and you're so merciful <laughs> and you're you're so patient with us boy we we need patience. Your, your patience displayed with us. And so we want to exhibit patience with all the folks around us today. <laughs> we might come across some situations today, Father, <laughs> that require patience. <laughs> so we, we want to say, yes, thank you for being patient with us. And then we can be patient uh, with those around us. 
Um, and we will try not to take ourselves too serious today, <laughs> Lord. And we'll stay light and happy and fluffy and puffy <laughs> and uh, not be uh, so depressed <laughs> or whatever or serious. So I, I just thank you for giving us your view of things today. We have this great day that you've given us. We thank you for our abundance. We thank you for love. We thank you for peace and joy. Um, we got a great report last night that one of the people that we've been praying for salvation said they got saved in the last week or so. How awesome is that? How wonderful is that? Amazing, amazing, amazing. We just, we just praise you and thank you, Lord. And we lift our, our new brother up to you and we just ask God that you pour your amazing grace on him in ways that he hasn't even fathomed or thought of. And that you would help him develop a prayer life and help him develop a love for the word and uh, cleanse his heart and his mind and his soul uh, from all the past and all the, the mistakes and the evil that uh, the enemy might try to drag back up. Um, and Father, if we can help him in any way, we want to do that. We want to be an encouragement or, and we want to go slow. We don't want to we don't want to fire hose anybody. <laughs> I know I have a problem with that, Father. I I say way too much, way too soon. Because I'm so excited about how wonderful everything you do and say is. And how great you are, really. So, thank you again, Lord. I just bless you and praise you. We magnify you, Father. Because your love is greater than all. You are greater than all. So we just thank you for giving us uh, encouragement and mm -hmm. joy and peace uh, in, our, in our new brother as well today. Um, and I just thank you for supplying all of his needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus and his wife and his, his son and that you, your hand of protection would be about them. Uh, Lord, you would send extra special uh, tough angels <laughs> uh, and messenger angels and everything he needs to protect him and keep him from sliding back into problems and difficulties that he's come out of. So we just rejoice and thank you for that, Father. We believe you're so faithful. You're so awesome. <laughs> How lovely is that? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. We just rejoice in you today. And Father, I, I pray specifically today for my wife. She had a rough uh, night last night and didn't sleep as well as she would have liked. I just ask you for grace to come upon her heart and her mind and her physical body that she she wouldn't feel all uh, weirded out. You know how you feel when you don't sleep enough. You feel terrible and your mind is cloudy and foggy. And Lord, just could you refresh her today by your spirit, by your power, and that maybe she'd even take a nap or something or uh, relax and refresh meditate on you and just receive uh, strength because she has things she has to do today uh, she has things that she would like to do today as well and uh, I certainly would want to see her uh, happy and full of peace and rest today because uh, that's that's how you want us to be uh, I know that in heaven it's not it's not that way there's no uh, distress. There's no uh, foggy brain syndrome <laughs> or whatever. There's no emotional uh, pain and suffering because of our physical weakness. So Lord, you said that when we were weak, that's when you would be made strong. So we declare, <coughs> Father, we don't want to try to flex our muscle 
our great spiritual muscles. No, Lord, we want to say that we are weak and we're sheep and we're your children <laughs> and we want to follow after you. And then you can be strong on our behalf and we can watch you and we can participate with you and we can enjoy you. So that's, that's what I'm looking for, Father. I'm looking for your hand extended into our family today. And we just want to give you praise and honor and glory for all the blessings and the benefits that you pour on us every day. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. And Father, my desire is to see the world experience you. I want to experience you, and I want, to, I want them to experience you today. And I guess Paul tells us <laughs> in Titus, <clears throat> he says that it's our responsibility to open our mouth and declare the grace of God has been released to all men. And so everybody we meet, everywhere we go, we can announce to them the good news. So Father, I ask you to help us be very clever in our speaking, very bold in our desire to reach other people. And when we meet someone, we can immediately encourage them and bless them and speak well of them and love them. And then if we get an opportunity Tell them about Jesus. Tell them about the innocence that you have declared over the human race and that every person has been set free from their sin. Every person has been healed from their diseases. Um, Y'all continue to have to take this. Father God, we thank you for another beautiful day. And personally, Father, I'm praying there's some, there's some extra, extra clouds today. If we have to, you work outside, there's yeah, some clouds, nice breezes. But also, Father, that if we do any work today, that you continue your vigilance over us, that you, you keep us safe, especially from ourselves. Mm -hmm. Thank you for keeping my, my nephew and niece safe as they play and destroy things in my room. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys heard that, there was a big thump upstairs and I... Hope they're okay. Yeah, they're okay. I want to thank you, Father, for healing my mother and making sure that she has a blissful and full, perhaps even too long sleep tonight. She just goes right to sleep with no, no breathing issues, no, no trouble, no bad dreams. This house would be very... <sighs> when they wake up to the next morning. Father, I want to thank you for, I think it might be my new favorite book of the Bible, I've gone from liking Proverbs, Galatians, now I think I'm starting to really like Titus. I don't understand everything that's in this book, but from what I can gather from it, it is favoring some of my more radical ideas as, this, as the sun in this, this mixture. Not the, not the wiser, but certainly the younger. As perhaps many of our viewers might understand, or might not understand. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the privilege of owning Bibles, owning your Word. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the freedom to be able to worship you and to share with others how good you are. I thank you that you declare us innocent. I thank you so much, Jesus, that you see us all as innocent. You see the lost as innocent that you have taken their sins away from them as far as the east is from the west. And, and all they have to do is just reach out and take that gift. I thank you for making such an impact in the lives of the people on this planet. 
all over the planet. There are, there are groups of people who are learning about you, who are being set free, who are becoming full of joy, becoming free of their mental bondages and emotional bondages, physical, financial bondages. I thank you, Jesus, that you gave us this gift to be just like you. I thank you that we are your little brothers and little sisters and I thank you, God, that we can call you Dad. You're the best Dad ever. And I thank you for your grace. And I thank you that your mercies are new every single morning. And I thank you that you are not a condemner. Mm -hmm. You are a lover. You are just love. And that just emanates out of you 24 hours a day. I thank you for this list of people that we pray for every day. And I encourage all the YouTube people to make your own list that you pray for. But... We love these people on this list. <laughs> Not near as much as you do, Lord. Not near as much as you do. But we regard these people highly because you do. These people and their families, their extended families, are all so precious to you in the most deepest way. So we're going to um, we're going to sign off now. To uh, to protect their their privacy. Yeah, but but we we love you all, YouTubers. We encourage you today to see yourself totally innocent before Jesus, because you are. You have been declared innocent. And we bless you today, and we speak peace over you today. And we want you to have a wonderful day today. Amen to that. All right. Signing off. Bye, you guys.